Hello Zero, this is Alpha One Zero Radio Check of A communication systems operator allows officers and troops the ability to talk to each other, which gives us a battle winning edge. Yep, good traffic. As a communication systems operator, I provide a wide range of communication devices, radios, computers, and satellite communications. The service we provide as a communications operator is to basically um, set up working nets on different radio systems. Hello, zero, this is Alpha One, zero, Most of the time we're providing a link between detachments or a link to a HQ. Basically you're waiting for any information coming over that might need to be passed on, anything important. Yeah, how do you mean? Within my trade on a normal working day we'll be uh, maintaining the equipment that we use, making sure that it works all the time. On exercises would be um, training, keeping our training up to standard on all the equipment, um, to making sure that you are an expert on every single piece of communications equipment. You are trusted to um, make sure everything is going to plan on your own and you get left alone. Uh, my best experience doing my job has definitely got to be out on um, both tours, Op, Telic and Herrick, which is Iraq and Afghanistan. Out in uh, Op, Herrick, Afghanistan, I was um, controlling a HLS in um, Fob Price, which is in Goresh, and uh, also doing communications to uh, the aircraft. We had quite a few casualties come in and we had to do comms to the aircraft um, to let them know um, notice to move times for the casualties to arrive. A good communication systems operator is enthusiastic, motivated, uh, self-motivation is a big thing in my trade. I do enjoy it, yeah, some of it's quite hard to pick up, but once you've got it, you become a, an expert at Alpha it. Alpha 3 zero, OK, out. When I did my trade training, I first off went to one squadron, which is sort of like introduction for weeks, and then you get loaded onto your course and you start off with the basic skills towards your trade. Yes, what we need to do is get our backlight on, on our radio. There's quite a few subjects involved in your trade, from voice procedure, um, computer skills. Um, I remember my classrooms being quite intense work, but um, a good laugh, good, you know, good crack with the lads. All the instructors are really helpful. If you need one-to-one -one guidance, you know, they're there to help. Not all of it's in the classroom, um, there's quite a number of um, subjects that you do do outside, um, including antennas. We set up our detachment quite often in order to get our notice to move times down. You get a sound in his headset to indicate somebody wants to speak to him. He can flick his BAU to twin. These are Bowman simulated rovers. It's really good to get hands on the equipment while you're learning. If we twinned up, At first, it does look quite complicated, but they make sure that you know you do quite a, um, a good number of weeks on that piece of equipment before you move on to anything else. So it does become a lot clearer. I would ring once on the twin. Um, you do get quite a few qualifications out of it, including MVQs, key skills, you know, people skills, you know, brings you out of your shell, totally changes you into a better person. Once I pass my trade, you, you know, you do get bonuses along your career. You get five-year money, eight-year money at the moment. Pays very good, yeah. <laughs> I felt that a communication systems operator suited me better. I'm quite a hands-on person rather than, um, you know, doing a de Hello, uh, desk job. Zero, I'd say definitely go for it. Um, you know, if you want a lot of qualifications for your trade, um, learn something new. Alpha 3-0, OK? Out. I've been doing it for six years now and I've not got bored, so can't be doing too much wrong. <laughs> Alpha 1-0, OK? Out.